good day and welcome back to this channel. For today's uh, episode, we shall be doing a continuance of the previous one wherein we look at closely the functions and competencies of the uh, Certificate of Competencies, the examination. For today, let us look now at the functions and competencies of the level management. Okay, the MLC. So with that, come on, join me for this episode. So this time, we shall take up the management level COC. Okay, but here in the Philippines, uh, there is a requirement by flag state that the assessment of competence must be taken through a series of management level course trainings okay uh, the management level courses are taken post baccalaureate so it's taken after you graduate okay and they are broken down into functions and competencies okay so the upgrading training needed by MLC candidates for DEC is, would you believe, 54 days covering functions 1 to 3. That's a lot, okay? And for candidates for MLC for engine, okay, the maximum days of training are 70, 70 days covering functions 1 to to four so that's quite a lot okay and this was uh, this is still the bone of contention many seafarers have raised with flag state marina on why do they have to take this long and drawn out upgrading training for them to take the examination well a lot of schools of thought have been presented here and it was for a while suspended and it was uh, returned again. So this is basically a flag state issue. Okay, In column three of our STCW tables, this is one of the many ways to assess competence by uh, examination, upgrading training, uh, in-service, approved in-service uh, training, okay? But the Flag State Marina has chosen an updating training, and this is it. So if you ever have to sit for your exams as the highest uh, certificate of competency, you must undergo this. So there's an investment of time and, of course, money. Why is the requirement so long? Well, to be honest, this uh, updating training was brought about by a memorandum circular way back in 2014, wherein the STCW Certificate of Competencies found that the existing, at that time, uh, educational leveling of officers and engineers was found to be uh, inadequate or lacking. Okay, so they have come up with identified uh, subjects that needed to be taken so as the CFAIR can be upgraded into STCW COC. So that was 2014. You had the MLC and you had the OLC. Nowadays, the OLC is no longer a option because it has already been integrated in the new curriculum in 2014. So with the management level. So there you have it. That's why sometimes people are saying, especially seafarers, we already have taken this up. Okay, But that is flag state requirement so the CFR has to uh, abide by this ruling 
that you must take MLC updating courses. Uh, this is meant to replace the PRC ranking examinations and licensures because before a PRC had four examinations both deck and engine wherein you have the third mate, second mate, chief mate, master, uh, fourth engineer, third engineer, second engineer, chief engineer. That is no longer in force now because there are only two levelings, sorry, three levelings of the STCW COCs. Okay, you have support level, operational level, and management level. All right, going now to the functions and competencies of MLC, the reference is made to Chapter 2-2 of the STCW Code and the Marina Circulars 2014 year issued and 2018 year issued. Okay? The examination is given in two parts. Okay? The theoretical, which has three functions and 20 competencies. And in addition, competency 17 and 20 shall be evidenced by training and experience records. That means to say you have to also bring along with you your service records and training records. Okay? The practical side of the examination has three functions and 20 competencies likewise. And in addition, there are 26 exercises in various competencies that will require a show of competence, meaning plotting, simulation, because uh, the practical examination will be taken in an approved assessment center, okay? complete with the equipment needed to fulfill the requirements of the practical examination. The time run for theoretical and practical respectively is 200 and 810 minutes on the average. So 200 minutes, uh, that's quite long. And 810 minutes, that's even longer. These are for the theoretical and practical. So later on, let's look at the competencies Okay, in detail. To give you a idea, an idea on this management level updating courses uh, in its entirety, okay, the MLC for DEC is around 432 hours covering functions 1 to 3. And the MLC updating training for engine is 560 hours covering functions 1 to 4 that's quite a lot you're 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 talking about months okay in order for you to comply with the requirements of flag state prior to your coc so there uh there's a lot of discussion still ongoing okay in the curricular setting this could be categorized as a major course, okay, if you're going to look at it based on syllabus, curriculum, and detailed teaching syllabi, okay? This could be categorized as a major course given the time and units it produces. So, when you sit down there for your upgrading training, think about it. Is this really necessary? Didn't I take this before? So, all these things, well, it can be taken through other means of assessment of competence, not only updating training. Going now to the 3-2 and 3-3 ruling for the theoretical part of the COC examination, a candidate who failed in three or more competencies in one sitting may not receive the exam within a two-month period. Well, seems 
very practical and sensible for that matter. A candidate who has failed three times in the same competence is not allowed to reset the competency but must secure a master's certificate, attesting. So we have the attestation again. To the candidate's improvement after three or more months of shipboard or approved training or refresher course. So the options now consider those in uh, the table, uh, column three, on the methods in qualifying competence so well that's for theoretical so in both practical and theoretical there is what you call attestation so think about that going now to the three three ruling okay this means to say uh, three times okay three months okay if the three three ruling for practical each competency shall be taken and graded individually not a weighted average so each uh, competency has their own grade okay it's not a totalized uh, grading and they will just weigh the average no so if this is the case then you can pull other competencies with a higher grade of another competency this is not the case for the examination each competency is graded accordingly okay and a candidate who has failed three times hence three three ruling on the same competence is not allowed to receive the competency but must secure a certificate certificate from the master attesting so it's an attestation now to the candidates improvement of not less than two months or more of shipboard experience and so I hope you enjoy this very interesting topic which has taken years and years to correct and recorrect and change and, but nevertheless it has to go through change there's nothing uh, there's nothing else to do but to adapt to the change okay so with that i say thank you don't forget to like and subscribe and check out the descriptions for publications that are available in the local market now have a safe journey at sea, enjoy your families at home, God bless and goodbye.